Good morning, all my kindergartners. So today um, we are going to be having our unit for day eight lesson. Um, this is our virtual day. Woo! And um, I hope you all have a wonderful Friday so far. So before we get started, we're going to review some of the body parts we have learned in this unit. So we have learned about our brains. We have learned about our lungs, our heart, our bones and muscles, learned about our stomachs, um, and then our new ones we have learned about our eyes and our ears, and those are part of our five senses, and we're going to learn about a new one today about our five senses, so I'm going to share my screen. There we go. All right, so put your nose. Have you ever used your nose today? Did you smell breakfast cooking in the kitchen? Did you smell a stinky sock laying on your floor? Talk to your family and see if you've used your nose today. I know I smell my coffee brewing. That's how I use my my nose in the morning. I smell my coffee. All right. So we're gonna be talking about our nose, and our nose is part of our five senses. So this is gonna be the third sense we are going to learn about. I'm ready, so I can share document camera. All right, here, here's our daily message. So we have five senses and so far we have learned two. Let me talk about a third one today. The daily message is, I have five ways of learning about the world. One, I hear with my ears. Two, I see with my eyes. Three, I smell with my nose. I see some red words that we have learned. I, and then I see another one right here. And then when we hear with your ears, that is the job of the ears. So the I can statement for about our five senses, when we're learning about our five senses, I can identify different body parts and explain their function. So what's the job of the heart? What's the job of the heart? Can you, can you guys tell a family member? What's the job of the heart? That's right, it's to beat and to pump the blood throughout the body. What's the job of your brain? That's right, it's to tell your body what to do and how to move your body. And what is the job of your lungs? That's right, to help you breathe and take in oxygen. That is right, so you are telling me the functions of the body parts. So you are already doing the I can statement. So for our new ones we have learned, I hear with my ears. So the job, the function of the ears is to hear and listen for noise. So the job or function of the eyes is to see, see where you're going, see if you can spot something, watch out for things. And the job of the nose or the function of the nose is to smell different smells, good smells, bad smells, weird smells. Yeah, those, those are the different we have learned. So, we have some new vocabulary. And then smell. Smell is our first one. Smells could be delicious. Smells could be weird. Smells could be, oh, gross, like a skunk. Like if you were driving the car and a skunk's on the side of the road and you're like, oh, stinky. 
right? Or if you take your socks off at the end of the day after school or running outside and your parents or brothers or sisters are like, oh, your feet stink. <laughs> so you are smelling and how you smell is you use these, your nostrils. That's our other vocabulary word is nostrils. So when you breathe in air, the air enters our nose through our nostrils. Nostrils are opening at the bottom of your nose, right there. We have two. We have a pair of nostrils. So how many nostrils do we have? Two. We have a pair. All right. So we're going to be watching our videos about our new vocabulary. Smell. Smell is one of the five senses we use to tell what's going on around us. We use our noses to find out what things smell like. The bear is using her sense of smell to see if this fish is something she'd like to eat for dinner. Ooh, it smells delicious. We're in our second video. I just clicked out. All right, here we go. Second video. Nostrils. Nostrils are two holes in people's or animals' noses that they use to breathe through or to smell things. All right. So smell, you can smell flowers, cookies baking. I think he smells like smelly old socks. And how we smell is we use our nostrils. So here's a dog's nose. Dogs use their noses a lot to smell things. All right. Time it's today. time to say a rhyme to tell you what we know. We'll say our rhyme on tippy toes. We'll say it way down low. We'll say our rhyme when sitting down. We'll say it as we go. Would you like to hear our rhyme? Tell us yes or no. Yes. So our rhyme is our five senses. And it's the one that you say with me. I don't have a video for it. That's what you're hands ready. All right. I have five senses that let me know everything the world can show. My ears can hear. My nose can smell. My eyes can see what books can tell. My tongue can taste. My skin can touch. Every sense can teach me very much. Great job. Great job, everybody. Okay, so after we do that, we're going to do Joey Talk. So, um, early in the week, we did Joey Talk, and I sounded out the sounds, and you guessed the word. Well, I'm going to tell you the word, and you sound out the sounds. So, for an example, if I say cat, you say at for cat. You sound out all the sounds that you are hearing in the word cat. All right, so the first word, smell. What sounds are you hearing in the word smell? Great job, you should be going smell. Great job, everybody. All right, the second one. See. What sounds are you hearing in the word see? Yeah. See. For see. All right. Last one. Are you ready? Touch. What sounds are you hearing in the word touch? One might be tricky. Yeah. Well, let's try it together, okay? T uh 
touch. T -a -ch. Great job, everybody. Great job. All right, today on Google Classroom, I uploaded a video. Um, it's my favorite of the Little Spot series, and it's a little spot of kindness. So everybody needs a little spot of kindness in their life. So it's a great story. So go please listen to it, okay? If you haven't done so. All right. So then we're going to be um, moving on to our letters. Let me go back to my alphabet here, my slides. And then before we start our letters, I'm going to review first um, what we've been talking about this week, iMessages. So iMessages are messages you tell somebody if you're upset and you tell them how you feel and why you feel that way so you can help solve the problem. Or it's a great way to communicate how you're feeling if you're really excited, if you're really super happy, if you're so-so today, but it's a great way to start practicing communicating on how you're feeling. So I feel happy because tomorrow's Saturday, or I feel happy that I get to see you on Zoom here in a little bit. So you, this is a great way to practice telling you how you feel and why you feel like that, because it's a great way to explain your feelings instead of saying, I'm mad. And you don't know how to tell us why you're mad, so we can try to help you. Now let's go on to our letters. Okay, buddy. All right, awesome. All right, repeat after me. A apple. B bat and ball. C caterpillar. D dinosaur. D elephant. F flower. D girl. H horse. I insect. J jump. A kangaroo, L leg, M mountain, N net, O octopus, P e, parrot, Q queen, R rabbit. A snake, T tower, U umbrella, V vulture, W worm, X exercising fox, Y yo yo. And Z zipper. I was some review of some videos of some sounds that we have worked on. Rabbit. Rats. Er. All right, we have new sound today. Are you excited? We have a new sound. Okay, so for my silly sentence, you gotta listen up. Are you listening? All right. The boy bats balls. The boy bats balls. What sound are you hearing over and over again? The boy bats balls. 
That's right, the b sound. The b sound. Or what letter, everybody? What goes b? Yay! We are learning the letter B today for bat and ball. Okay. So when we practice the B, it kind of looks like a D. I know some of you probably get B and D kind of mixed up, and that is okay. For B, we are using our lips to make the sound. So when we make the sound, when we make the sound, our lips have to touch together first. B. And it's like we're blowing out a little puff of air going B. Like bubbles. B. And for D, remember, we're using our, like our teeth. But for B, we have to use our lips. So my mouth is not wide open. I can't even say, I don't even think I can say the B with my mouth open. Mm -mm, I can't even say it. So when we make the sound B, our lips have to be together first. B. Great job. So let's watch our silly cartoon for the sound B. Bat and ball. Alright, now let's look at our cards. We have balloon, bike, and bus. Let's say this together. Balloon, bike, bus. Great job, everybody. So this is the... This is the uppercase B and the lowercase B. That is the difference. One's taller and one's smaller. The similarity is they both make the same sound, no matter if we use the uppercase B or the lowercase B. They both make the same sound. All right, I'm going to share my screen and show you how to write both the uppercase and the lowercase. Oh, wrong one. Wrong screen. All right. How to make the uppercase B as you see the two sets of lines the blue and then the red so I'm going to make a number one for the uppercase B and then I'm going to add a bump out and then right where they touched and do another bump out it's kind of like you're making a it's kind of like you write a number three almost and then you just connect the plate if that's easier for you to make a three and then connect them, that is fine with me too. I'll put a dot right here, a dot right here, and a dot right here. So remember, make the one connecting all the three dots, but the three dots are for your bump out. So you stop, start at the top dot, swing around to the bottom, the middle one, and then start out the middle dot and swing out and around back to the bottom one. You can do the three dots, make your number one. All right, and then start at the top, middle bump, and then the middle to the bottom. Great job. And then for the lowercase b, it's very similar. All right, three dots, connect them all for your number one. But then for the lowercase b, we're going to start at the middle dot and bump out to the bottom. It's easier to do three dots, that's fine. Connect them, middle dot, swing out and around to the bottom. We're going to be practicing running the uppercase b's and the lowercase b's. 
Let me just pop the dots. There we go. You can do the three and then connect it with the one for the uppercase B. You can do the three dots, or you can just try to write it yourself without a trick. All right. Next, we're going to be moving on. Um, today for math. Today for math, the math paper is nothing new. It's actually a review of what we have gone over for this unit. Um, on Monday, we have a math test. So yeah, so we have a math test on Monday. So the math paper is actually um, practice for you of learning all the things that we have taught about. So we have learned how to count to number eight and how to write the number eight. Um, I can show you um, how to write the three numbers that we have learned. So let me share my screen. So we have learned how to write the number eight, nine, and 10. So for eight, remember there's two ways you can do it. You can do the snowman trick and the circle, remember they have to touch, or you could do the race car trick. So here's my starting line. You swing out around like an S and you have to swing up to the finish line. The second one we have learned is the number nine. So the number nine kind of looks like a backwards P. You do your circle, but on this side right here, right here, I'm gonna make an arrow, is where you put your number one attaching to your circle. It has to attach. See how it's attached? I drew over my circle because if I did it like this, I don't even know what that is. I don't, I don't know what that is. That's no, no. No, no. So we have to make sure our lines and our circles are touching each other. Now, so our second number we've learned, and then we've learned to count to all the way up until 10. So 10 is a number one. And then space, not too much space, but a little space. And then a zero. Isn't that awesome? We have a number one and a zero together. And that, when you run together like this, makes 10. So you could do the do, two dot tri tricks that they said. Okay. So they gave you two dots, remember? This one's for the number one. And this dot is for zero. How awesome is that? And then yesterday, yesterday we learned about a pattern. And we didn't learn about like, the color. We kind of learned about a color pattern, but it was kind of hard because our papers were black and white. So a color pattern could be green, red, green, red, and then the next color would be green. Um, but the number pattern that we learned was adding one more to our group. So if we had a group, if we added, So we have this group right here. So my group is right here. Is I have one in my group. Second group, we start off with that one, but then we add one more. And then in the third group, start off with this group, and then you add one more. So we have one in this group, two in this group three in this group. How many would be in my next group? That's right. It would be four because I have to start off with this group and then add one more. We have four now. So what would be in my next group? What comes after four? That's right, five. One, two, three, or five. So that was our pattern. We are talking about adding one more each time. So I'll color the one that I added each time. I added this one. I this one. I added this one. I added this one. So the ones that are purple is the block I added each time to make it one more, one bigger. All right. Um, you can hop on to Zoom if you want to, um, you know, complete the math reteaching 
um, with us on Zoom, or you can um, try it yourself. And if you need help, hop on the Zoom, okay? So you also have um, your journals. So today you're going to be um, adding a sentence to a previous um, journal entry, which is gonna be okay. Um, we can do that together on Zoom, practice, you know, writing not just one sentence, but two now. So we have learned about our sight, ears, heart, our lungs. So you can write about all the different type of body parts. Um, you can add another sentence to that. So when we add another sentence to our journals, we um, make it with more detail. So I could say, if I chose my heart today, I can say, um, my heart beats. And then my second sentence would be, my heart beats to pump blood throughout my body. Or my heart beats would be my first sentence. The second one would be, my, blood, my heart pumps blood throughout my body. So that adds more details to my story. Awesome. We can just practice writing more and more and more and adding to each sentence. You have practice your letters. You have your practice math sheet, and that is the one with like the bananas on it. It's like a separate sheet of paper. So that's the extra math today. Make sure you are reading your books. We have a nature's walk, and then what smells is our second book. Uh, both of them up are on. Um, the, our YouTube channel, and I've linked it to our Google Classroom so they're easy to get to. Um, and then we will be done for today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact um, myself or Mrs. Wood, okay? So I hope you have a great Friday, and everybody cheer, go woohoo! Woohoo! All right, everybody. So I hope you have a great and wonderful Friday, okay? Bye!